Today, I am proud to announce... The move by President William Ruto to name his cabinet nominees has continued to elicit debate amongst Kenyans, including leaders, with some criticizing some of the nominees. The men and women who will serve... The latest critics are as new coalition legislatures, led by Ugunja MP Opio Andai, who is being proposed for the position of majority leader in the National Assembly by the coalition. We are witnessing the formal inauguration of a mafia state being controlled by a mafia executive. It is essentially a lineup of who is who in the dark world of theft of public resources. Are these the individuals we want to entrust with our resources and our 40, 50 plus million Kenyan? Are these the individuals we want them to represent us at our international arena? This is the shame our country has started. Case in point is former Malindi MP Aisha Jumwa, who was nominated as CS for public service. Other than the charges of embezzlement of CDF funds in Malindi constituency, Jumwa is also facing murder charges over the death of Gumbao Jola in Gunda, Malindi constituency. Gumbao was shot in a scaffold that ensued during a by-election in Kilifi County that year. In an economy that is crying for revival, it is shocking that the old administration has packed the proposed cabinet with some men and women who should be in jail for engaging in economic crimes and sabotage of the country. According to Bobby Mkangi, a constitutional expert, the president was within his rights to nominate the said leaders, arguing that they are innocent until proven guilty. He, however, blames the scenario on the lack of timelines within which cases such as those should be dispensed with. So I think he comes from, from, from that understanding of the fact that, yes, you could, you could, you could be facing uh, charges, uh, criminal or otherwise, uh, in court. Um, but uh, until when the, the judicial processes are complete and uh, either you are determined to be guilty um, or, or innocent, mm -hmm. then that's when a final uh, call or judgment uh, can be made. Former Meru Senator and the nominee for the Agriculture Docket, Mithika Linturi, is another nominee whose inclusion has been met with criticism. Linturi, who was arraigned in court in February 2022 over remarks bordering on hate speech, also faces charges of attempted rape in a hotel in Nanyuki. Most of the nominees suffer acute financial and ethical deficit which the appointing authority is aware of, but chose to ignore in nominating them. Because it would appear in this administration, ethics and accountability won't matter. Experts, however, maintain even the vetting exercise in Parliament may be largely premised on the presumption of innocence until proven guilty. There is that belief that uh you know, some of these cases are, are, are frivolous, uh, they are in, in, they're in court beco because of uh, political exigencies. Um, and and uh, so you, you, you kind of understand where they're coming from, that uh, this, this will eventually be thrown out because we are just victims of uh, political circumstances. Those nominated to join cabinet are now waiting for the select committee to be constituted when parliament resumes. We are going to say more in the coming days, and especially at the vetting table. Philip Mrutu, K24, Nairobi.